keep in mind that Kenya been trending all in the news, every interview, everybody else is doing Kenya, 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 and she hasn't said a word, lifted a finger, traveling with Brooklyn, minding her business, hey, good morning. and just living her Hi, life. And without lifting a finger, God is fighting her battle. <laughs> God is let down. Why am I in this reality TV mess? Get me out of it. <laughs> but let's get into the intro and get into what I'm talking about. Fina Love, Sisters Fina D, coming to you all from Fina Tina News. Proverbs 26, 27. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. If someone rolls a stone, it will roll back on them. One thing about them tables, they will always turn. Portia Williams stutt she was doing something by posting that old clip of Mama Joyce from years ago. The fact that she claims she's doing so much better and her life is so amazing that of all of the things she could have posted to celebrate, elevate, and be happy for Candy Burris, okay, new show, and to promote Candy Show, she went ahead and reposted a clip putting down another black woman in order for her to feel better about herself in that clip went viral and everyone reposted it and Portia thought she was doing something yes people get to hear what she said about Kenya not only was Portia Williams dragged for that Kenya Moore was celebrated all over social media for listing things on her resume and how impactful she was and is to the culture and how, you know, black girls with her complexion watching TV, seeing her and saying, you know, if she can do it, I can. And the inspiration, click the very first link in the description below. I did an entire video on it. I read comments and all of that. You can watch that video and see those comments. So what poor finger? But the reason why I said them tables, Portia touched she was doing something by reposting an old clip that someone else was shading Kenya, was shading Kenya. Well, Bravo went. <laughs> because Portia, people felt like Portia wanted to trigger not only everyone, but Kenya Moore fans, so that Kenya Moore supporters, you know, will get so mad and be reminded and then they won't watch Candy's show. Or the general public will see, you know, just how low down, just how, you know, below the belt Candy Mother was or is or went at that time. And they will be angry and not watch the show. Everyone knows what Porsche was trying to do, the division, and all of that. Well, Bravo said, not today. We are going to remind all of America of how evil you are and what you did. We are going to play the season, okay, where this woman was accused of something so disgusting. We are going to play that entire season before the premiere of her show. People are going to be so angry at you that they will absolutely tune in and watch her show. So your little Instagram moment might have gone to a few thousands of people, but we are about to play the season that's going to go out to millions, okay, before Candy new show. And if you notice, it doesn't have 
the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and then Candy and the Gang. It's just Candy and the Gang, okay? Portia got dragged all over Twitter yesterday before Candy show. What did she do to the producer? She was allegedly doing whatever with. That's the reason why she get passes on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Who did she pissed off over there? Okay, I get it. She pulled that girl over there. Remember that girl over there? When Bravo placed her on the pedestal and Andy and them was up her, you know what? So she just thought she ran stuff and she was the HBIC. And you all have seen the videos. Go to our HOA playlist to watch them. Walking off set, walking off scenes, walking off reunion stages, doing whatever she, she wanted to do. And then Bravo had to remind her, uh, you are an employee. And they had to humble her real quick. Portia and her people got in a fight. And then when the producers said, let's talk about it, Portia touched ran ish over there. We don't want to talk about it. Allegedly told her family, do not speak on it. Speak on it. <laughs> Candy voice. Okay. Do not speak on it. Production was like, what are we doing here? Really? This is what we're doing? We're going to pretend like nothing happened? Uh, okay. You think you run this? Okay. Well, we're going to show you who run this. That's the reason why you got to see majority of the hot mess of what Portia Williams show was. No one was trying to protect her. Bravo saw what she did. You want to ruin something before it even got started. We are going to replay the season of you and Phaedra Parks accusing this woman of something disgusting. Let's read some of the tweets. Oh Lord, I see now season 9 is trending. Shaking my head. All this on the same day Candy News show come out. Portia can't ever get a break. To the people on Twitter... I'm just reading your tweets. I'm not coming for you. I'm reading your tweets out loud because it's public and I'm simply responding to the context of the tweets. I'm not coming for anybody. I don't want no smoke. It's all love over here, okay? I don't want no smoke in these Twitter or YouTube streets, <laughs> okay? All right. Did Portia think about Kenya not getting a break when she decided to repost an interview of someone dragging Kenya? The Portia thing about her getting dragged for absolutely no reason. She's not bothering anybody. No, she didn't. If I was Kenny, I would be ready to sue Portia all over again. The way how the internet collectively decided to drag Portia today just because. Laughing face emoji, hashtag RHOA. Kenny really have whooped Portia's bleep in Hawaii. It would have been justified and well deserved. Season 9 of our HOA is iconic, but blood boiling. Now that y'all know how evil Portia is, and hopefully y'all know Phaedra is of the devil too, rewatch this season. You will see her in action. Also, Candy's shade this season was immaculate. <laughs> Watch RHOA with fresh eyes and I'm disgusted with Portia and Phaedra. Glad Candy was able to get over it because I would never. They're putting a lot of promo into Candy's show. Huh, they didn't do Portia like this. Portia had a hashtag with an emoji. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That hashtag emoji. I thought the same thing. Candy is a businesswoman, though. I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if she's coming out of her own pocket for marketing, too. Why would she come out of her pocket when that's the network's job? She probably made sure she was guaranteed a budget. A hashtag that couldn't even get right. Bravo New Portia stands. Read books upside down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Mm. So they rotated <laughs> between Portia Family Matters and Portia's Family Matters. Couldn't even get the simple things right. Not read books up. What is wrong with people? Candy team is on it. They knew the mess that they produced. Laughing my bleep off. This made Bravo they didn't want to waste their time. They rewatched them season 9 reunion and for real. Candy let them off too nice. If someone was doing me this dirty like Phaedra and Portia. Allegedly Candy was about to sue. But they were able to work something out. 
And allegedly, that's the reason why Kenny, you know, have certain privileges over there at Bravo. Every time they play this season of RHOA, I just think Portia and Phaedra got off easy and was lucky that Candy and Todd didn't sue the bleep out of them for slander and defamation of character. Love that the rewatch of season 9 of RHOA has brought out all this support of Candy just ahead of her new show, Candy and the Gang. Phaedra and Portia were so wrong on so many levels for doing what they tried to do to her i really don't know how anyone can expect forgiveness from a situation like phaedra and candies what phaedra did was so beyond disturbing a portion was her bleep little minion instigating things all the backlash that followed from season nine to portia was deserved I don't know how Candy can still be cool with Portia after everything she did to her. Because I keep quoting this, but I'll keep saying it. He who angers you controls you. So Candy had to, in a way, let that go. Every time she thinks she got one up on someone, this is what happens. Anyways, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. The end of here, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.